Hey, welcome back to our Facebook Leak Code interview series here on the Web3 Idiot. Uh, today we're tackling number 129, some root to leaf numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and read through this. You are given the root of a binary tree containing digits from 0 to 9 only. That's good. Each root to leaf path is uh, in the tree represents a number. For example, uh, root to leaf path 1 to 2 to 3 represents 1, 2, 3, 123. Return the total sum of all root to leaf numbers. Uh, test cases are generated so that the answer will fit into a 32 bit integer. Okay, that's easy. A leaf node is a node with no children. Okay, good. So, yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. So, what we want to do. Uh, so this one would be 12, this would be 1 root 2 leaf, and 13, 1 root 2 leaf. That would be our second one. So it would be 12 plus 13, and that would give us this 25 here. So let's go ahead, let's jump over to the wonderful Excali draw. I've been uh, practicing a little bit, so maybe it'll go a little bit quicker. Switch that over to black. So let's just do a practice one. So we'll have a uh, 1 there, not 14. Because we know it is between 1 and 9. Um, let's put another one over here. Let's go with uh, a 3. Um, let's see. What should we put over here? Maybe uh, a 2. We'll do one more. Let's do a, a 5. All right. So here we go. Um, let's connect these up. So this one goes there. This one goes there. And this one goes there. All right, so here we go. Our target would be 135, so 135 plus this 12 here. Um, so we have 135 plus 12, that'd be 147. So our uh, return would be 147, just based on this, if we're looking at it specifically. So now we have to take a look and think, what is going on? So here we have this one, we have this three, we have this five, and we have to make sure that we're passing down this value. So uh, of course we're gonna be uh, keeping track of a running sum. So what we wanna do is have a, uh, I guess a variable to keep track. So we'll have our sum that will initialize at zero. Uh, this is just to make sure we have something that we add to it and just based on this question, uh, it's giving me recursive vibes. Uh, there are probably other ways that you could do it, but recursion would be the easiest one in my mind. So basically what we want to do is we have to take this one. So uh, this one would have a value of one at this level. Hold on, let me come over here. Let's make it green. So at this level, this has a value of one. Then over here, it has to be equal to 13, and over here, it has to be equal to 12. And then when we get down here, we have to somehow expand it out to 135. And then because we know this one and this one are the leaf nodes, that means, uh, what does that mean? That means this value over here and this value over here, they're both null. Let me expand that out a little bit. So that's the definition of a leaf node that we were given. So that means both of these children over here and over here, if this leaf node, the left and the right are just null values, that's when we know it is a leaf node. So this one and this three, we don't make it, we don't add 13, even though there's no left child, um, because there is a right child. So even though this over here is equal to null, we do not add 13, we have to make sure we get down to the very bottom. So that looks like a good breakout case to have. So we'll come over here, our base case. So it would be, no left or no right child. So that, that's what it's speaking to me right now. Uh, that was what was defined in our question. So over here, a leaf node is a node with no children. So no left and no right. 
So uh, our base case would be if our left and our right, then what we want to do is go ahead and add the running total to the sum. We'll move this down here. Maybe that would be better. So if there's no left and no right child, what we want to do is add the running total to the sum. So if we get here, we would add that over here to the sum, which would be 135 up here. So uh, let's talk about how we're passing down these numbers. So here, this would be equal to, uh, I guess, our running sum to begin with. Let me scoot up a bit. Uh, our running sum up here would be zero. That's where we start at. Um, and then, yeah. So at this level, it's zero. And then for this node here, our running sum is this one, which is equal. So what we want to do is uh, be able to fit. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. There we go. So one is equal to our previous one times 10 plus this one. So it'd be zero times 10 plus one. That's more or less what this would be. Same thing with this 13. Uh, another way of looking at it would be the previous value, which would be that 1, times 10, plus the current value, would be this 3. And then same thing down here. This 135 is equal to 13, sorry, not 12, 13 times 10, plus this base value here is 5. So basically, as we move down, these nodes, we're going to be taking the previous total, multiplying it by 10, and adding the current value. And then once we hit a case here, that is when we know we do not increase the value and we add it to our sum. So let's go ahead and jump over here. Um, so just based on what we talked about, what we're going to have first is we're going to have our, our total, we'll call it result. This would be our running sum that we add at each of the leaf nodes to. And then what we're going to do uh, is do this. Function get uh, maybe leaf number. So this leaf number would be 1 to 2, so it would be 12. This leaf number over here would be 1 to 3, so it would be 13. So we have this called get leaf number. And we're going to be passing in, uh, I guess, a node as well as the running total so far. We could call it total, uh, it'd be better if we call it value actually. Total and our value. Uh, and then basically what we wanna do is put in our base case at first. Um, let's take a look. So over here, we wanna make sure that we add it. Um, so we'll come over here, we'll say if uh, of course, we'll do our classic one. If there's no node to begin with, if we're given an empty root, what we want to do is just return, uh, return out of there. And then we want to update our new total. So constant new, maybe new value is equal to our value times 10 plus our node.val. So this part right here, what this does is this logic here. So we have our previous total, which would be zero. We multiply it by 10, and we add the current level's value, which would be 1. So that would be 0 times 10 or 0, plus 1 is 1. Same thing here. We get to this level here. We have a 3. We add this 3 to the previous running total, which would be this 1 times 10. And we give us 13, and so on. So that is what this logic here is doing. And then what we want to do is check our second base case. So uh, this is just a, a classic base case you should always implement. Uh, but our, our one that we're really focused on would be checking if it is a leaf node. So if our node, if there's no node dot left, and there is no node dot right, which means it is a leaf child, it is a, a uh, it has no children, it is the end of the branch. What we want to do 
is we want to add our new value to this result. So we say result plus equal this new value. So this new value will increase by this first one here would be 12. So then that would increase up here to 12, etc. cetera. Um, so we have a result plus equal our new value. And then what we want to do is just return. Um, and if we are in the middle of our branch, what we want to do is just call this function again, passing the left and the right down. Um, so what we're going to do is say get leaf number, and we're passing in our node.left and our new value, and we're going to do the same thing. Get leaf number. This is going to the right, node.right, and new value. Uh, so this right here not only checks if we're starting off with an empty, no, uh, empty value, empty node, it also takes care of this situation right here. So for example, uh, one second, let me grab this. Uh, for example, over here, this three would point to a null value. Uh, so when we pass in this null, we need to be able to break out and return because this is not a child, but we're passing in a null value. Uh, if we don't do that, it will just continue to call itself and will have a major issue, I would say. Um, I'll show you what would happen if we run it without this, but. All right, and then we're gonna continue on. Uh, what we need to do now is just call the function. So we'll say git leaf number, and we're gonna be passing in our root value that we start out with up here, oh, sorry, up here and we're going to be passing in zero because we're going to be starting with a value of zero and at the end what we want to do is return our result all right so i'm going to go ahead and run it show you that it works here we go it does work bada bing bada boom and uh let's go ahead and get rid of this let's see what happens if i run it without it they both pass but if i run the full test suite um, what would happen would be uh, we'd have a call stack issue where the call stack would be too big and let's go ahead and submit it and we do pass we're better than 85.57 percent of other people and 72.93 percent of other people this is with a recursive implementation so what does that mean a recursive implementation means let's jump over here this makes it much easier to understand so our call stack would be the depth of our tree. So the space complexity, which would be represented by our call stack, at most could be, uh, with this one, one, two, three. The most it could be would be three. So O of N, or O of D, technically, where D is the depth of this tree, but we could just have one branch all the way down so that is why we usually say o of n so this two could be gone um it could just be one three five and that's the those are the only nodes on this tree and that would be o of n and then uh space complexity uh, sorry we just did space complexity and time complexity would also be o of n so we have one two because we have to hit every node in order to make sure we have reached the end of our branches. So time and space complexity, O of N, uh, for this recursive call. And that is how you do this question. If you have any more questions, put them below. If you want me to tackle a very specific question for an interview coming up for yourself, uh, put it below as well. I'll do my best to help. And yeah, hopefully uh, my Excali draw implementation <laughs> is uh, a bit better than last time. I hope you were able to follow along a little bit easier. Uh, this will only get better as I get, I guess, more comfortable using it. And yeah, please like, subscribe, follow, hit the bell, leave me a, a friendly comment. Uh, I appreciate everything. And I hope you guys have a great time studying. Keep coding. Catch you guys.